Welcome to the Physics Department here at St Aloysius College. My name is Michael O'Duffin and I am the Head of Physics. This short video is designed to help fourth year pupils as they consider making their options for higher study. I hope you find it useful as you consider whether choosing higher physics is for you. So the key question is, should I study higher physics? It's a tricky question and one that requires a lot of careful thought. One helpful approach might be to make two ordered lists. On the left hand side of a piece of paper, write the heading subject I am good at. And on the right hand side, subject I enjoy most. So you'll have two columns. And then what you should do is write down all your national five subjects in the left hand column with the subject that you are best at at the top. So uh, here's a hypothetical example. This particular pupil finds that physics is his or her best subject and um, chemistry followed by maths etc follow uh, below. Now a different thing um, is to list the subjects that you enjoy most. So here's an example. And it's quite common for the favourite subject to be different from the one you're best at. Now, hopefully the subjects that you enjoy and the subjects that you're best at um, are reasonably close in the list. That makes choosing hires an awful lot easier. In this example, physics has been found to be the best subject and the third favourite, if you like. The fact is, it's near the top of both lists. So, assuming that you will be studying five hires, then if physics appears in the top five of both lists, subjects you're good at, subjects you enjoy most, then that's a sign that you should give it serious consideration as one of your potential higher subjects. So how will you know if you are well suited to studying higher physics? Well, one thing to look out for is you're either going to be fairly sure of getting an A in National 5 Physics because you've been operating at or around A standard in tests and exams, or you're very likely to achieve an A at National 5. Now, it is true that sometimes uh, a pupil might narrowly miss an A at National 5 and go on to do well. This would tend to be someone who was expecting an A but perhaps didn't perform well on the day. So there are exceptions uh, to that. But generally speaking, you should be someone who's operating at A standard in National 5. You also need to be reasonably good at maths. You do not need to be a brilliant mathematician. Um, the standard of maths used in higher physics is approximately National 5 level. So if you're doing fine in National 5 level maths and you're reasonably comfortable with it, then that's great. Um, you don't need to be absolutely superb at math. So there's a difference between a, an out-and-out -out mathematician and a physicist. So competent maths at National 5 would be required. And finally, of course, it would be unusual if physics didn't appear in the top five of your two ordered lists. Now, if you have any questions as a pupil about uh, whether physics is for you, of course, uh, I'm very happy to speak to you about it. Just come and have a chat. So, what's actually studied in the Higher Physics course? Well, there are six units in total. Uh, a very brief summary of them now. Unit one is dynamics, where we look at Newton's laws, uh, motion, velocity, time graphs, projectiles, that sort of thing. It builds on the National Five work. Unit two is uh, space. We touch a little bit upon that in National Five. We go in a bit deeper and look at some cosmological ideas and the expansion of the universe. As you might expect, there's electricity built upon the National Five unit, and we go into a little bit more uh, depth and into slightly more interesting circuits. 
there is a section on properties of matter. It sort of uh, carries on where the National 5 topic left off, looking at heat, specific heat capacity, and the gas laws. There is a section on waves, which again develops the National 5 study, and we go into uh, basic wave characteristics, uh, a bit more detail on refraction and the electromagnetic spectrum. And there is a whole unit on nuclear radiation. As there was in National 5, there is a research assignment. Um, it's very similar in many ways to the National 5 one, where you carry out an experiment uh, in the lab and you go away and do a bit of research on the web at home and you write it up under exam conditions. Uh, we explain very clearly how to do all of this, and to be quite honest, if you follow the instructions, you should do very well in the assignment. So what advantages does the study of higher physics give you over other subjects? Well, physics is quite unusual in that it involves quite a blended range of skills. For example, very careful observation in doing experimental work and in solving problems actually. The ability to make accurate measurements using a variety of apparatus. Once you've gathered results you have to analyse information in a very careful way. From that analysis, which usually involves tables of data and a graph plot, you deduce valid conclusions, making that link between the graphical representation of your results and what it actually means in the real world. Of course, you then use the theory you've learned to solve problems, and that requires thinking. The problems very often involve mathematical reasoning, as you would expect. And right throughout the course, there is a demand on basic numeracy skills. But interestingly, physics also requires the accurate use of language, and I think that's what makes it um, pretty much unique, that combination of solving problems using mathematical ideas and using language very precisely is quite a distinctive feature of the study of uh, physics. In the pictures there, incidentally, you can see a couple of last year's sixth years doing their, their research projects. So where might all of this study at higher physics lead in terms of careers? Well, there's a very wide range of careers which uh, value higher physics very, very highly indeed. For example, medicine, dentistry or vet medicine, whilst it's not absolutely essential to have higher physics, uh, there is no doubt that the top medical schools very much like the strong scientific and analytical skills that higher physics um, develops. It gives you a very strong CV. And if you think about it, uh, doctors and, and dentists uh, very much are applied scientists. They need to think very systematically. And the skills you learn in physics help prepare you for that degree extremely well indeed. Probably goes without saying that if you're interested in engineering, then physics is pretty much an essential subject along with maths and Worth pointing out that um, in the current climate, there's actually a shortage of engineers in the UK. Um, there's a massive push on renewable energy just now, so there are lots of really good, well-paid jobs in the pipeline. And engineering uh, has now grown so much, there's a, a long, long list of possible types of engineering, mechanical, electrical, civil, chemical, aeronautical, electronic, being just a few. Some other careers for which physics is extremely useful um, or indeed essential um, would be things like ophthalmics and optometry, radiography, and of course, physics or astronomy itself. Many pupils don't realize that higher physics is also extremely useful in a whole range of uh, jobs and careers they might not have considered as relevant to, to physics. For example, finance, economics, business, and, and banking. 
the skills of numeracy and problem solving that you learn in physics are directly transferable to all of these sorts of jobs. So if you're interested in applying for one of the top business school courses, for example, then there is no doubt a higher physics uh, complements your other studies. In general, any numerate discipline, uh, for example, accountancy, um, benefits from having strong numeracy skills and the kind of skills higher physics develops uh, supports that. And in general, any scientific discipline uh, of whatever type would benefit from the scientific knowledge and skills you would develop in physics. I hope you found this short video useful. It may very well have raised further questions. So if you're a pupil, please don't hesitate to send me a message on Schoology and I'll be quite happy to have a chat with you about higher physics. And for parents, um, please don't hesitate to get in touch by sending me an email. The address is on your screen now. Thank you very much.